here. Um, it finished the format and it gone ahead and started installing Windows. So we're going to finish. Now, of course, my stand is out of whack again. Okay. Regional and language ops and options. Next. Same my computer, so we're just gonna type owner. Part as demonstration. Next. Next. Today's the twentieth. No, uh, it's the tenth. My bad. Computers in the other side of the room. We can't see that far. Got to change it to Central Time. It's an hour ahead. Six. Next. I ain't loaded a computer with X XP in a little bit, so... Excuse me. So, I figure I'll go ahead and load one just for y'all's viewing pleasure. And I believe I got my drivers on here for, for this computer already. This computer I originally found in the trash. So I went ahead and took it, DOD wiped it. And I wasn't, originally I wasn't going to do a video on it. But I decided to go ahead and do a video series on it. So that's why it said Windows XP when it started to boot before I formatted it. So I want to keep my YouTube subscribers entertained. So that's good to go. Ordered this off the off of Amazon the other day. It's a um, Ethernet cable joiner. So you plug one in that end, plug one in the other end, and it pretty much just makes two cables into one. So it was 86 cents off of Amazon, but it took like half a month to get here. So. Getting ready for Antique Alley. I got lots and lots of stuff I gotta sell. Including about 10 computers. This is one of them. I did one earlier. I got a stereo for sale. Got another stereo, it doesn't work though. I'm gonna sell it for a quarter. Um, I got monitors. I'm probably going to sell my microwave. I get a karaoke machine. No microphone. Works. Then I got a set of doors that came off an 85 Chevy Suburban. Power windows, power locks. I'm gonna sell the pair as a. I'm gonna sell them as a pair of 50 bucks. Complete door. One of them, the wing window is busted out though.
I got a V Rocker chair that has no, don't have the cables, but last time I used it, it did work. Um, I can't find the power adapter for it. Oh, you're going to sell that for $15, $20. And I got, like I said, I got about 10 computers. I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell for anywhere between $20 to $80 a piece. I got one down here. It's an HP. What the hell is it? It's a dual core system. I'm going to sell that one for $200. If I don't sell it, then that's going to become the new backup server. Either that or surveillance DVR. So, um, yeah. Got a microwave I'm going to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of my vacuum because the Kirby not hard to come by without paying an arm and a leg for them. That's all the stuff. I can't remember all the stuff off the top of my mind. I got a bumper for an S10, a diamond plate bumper for an S10 pickup. I'm going to sell for 10 bucks. 20 bucks. It's in okay condition. So, I'm like. Ugh. Trying to think what else I got for sale. Or I'm gonna have for sale. Computers, the V rocker, my microwave, the doors, the bumper, uh, two stereos. That's all that I can think off the top of my head for now. Oh, I got a little netbook. It's an old, real old netbook. It's like one of the first netbooks that came out. It's an Asus EPC. It has an 800 megahertz Celeron processor in it. it. used to have Xandros Linux on it, but I'll tell you a story on it. Originally had Xandros Linux on it, then my former boss, he it was his, he put Windows XP on it. And he really didn't do much with it, give it to me because the fucking left mouse button stopped working. So I took the button apart, cleaned it up, and put it back together. And it worked, so I loaded Fedora. Linux on it. I loaded Fedora Linux on it, so that's what it's got on there now. Once you get a web browser open, that's about all you can do with it. I got Google Chrome installed on it for the web browser, because Firefox is just entirely too slow for it. Well, I'll be right back.